these are pedigree shorthorn cattle, which are a traditional breed, ideally suited to grazing land like this to benefit the lapwing. They've got double coats so that in the winter they can stay outside. Um, they're very hardy and they produce meat with marbling in. They're grazing this grass short now. It needs to be short in February to benefit the lapwings and that's mainly what this field is, is managed for using both sheep and cattle. We're at Bodio Farm today which has a triple SI and a wildlife site on the 600 odd acres of the farm. It needs to be managed properly using grazing livestock to benefit the heathland and the sand dunes and salt marsh habitat on the farm. Grazing is vital for conservation but you also have to support the farmers who are putting their livestock on the land. Animals eating the sort of uh, forage that's available on heathland and the land at Bodio produce meat that's high in omega-3s, it's really healthy stuff. Um, the animals are extensively managed and it seems really sensible to market them as wildlife friendly produce. This farm was purchased um, through Mentamon with funding from Europe. The farmers share it, they use it to get the animals from the abattoir back to Colleg Menai in Fangevni where they've had training in butchery and they can cut the meat and sell it out through box schemes. They can also store meat between when it's been boxed and take it round for sale. The sheep here have been grazed on the marshes and the land adjacent to the inland sea at Bodio. Here we are on the edge of Frank's land on about 30 hectares of heathland which the cattle have been allowed on for the first time this summer because we've put up some fencing through a grant. The cattle grazing across here will benefit the heathland, give heather at different stages of growth which is important for invertebrates and produce the most delicious beef. This is Breakwater Country Park near Hollyhead. It's managed by Isle of Anglesey County Council and this area is a triple SI. It's a beautiful piece of heathland which has really benefited from grazing over the last three years with ponies on a project working with Isle of Anglesey County Council and funded through CCW. Where are the ponies at the moment, Hilary? They're just in the management field for the time being while the very busy August holiday period uh, runs on. Um, there are lots of people walking through here with dogs and it's quieter for the ponies if they can run back just for this month. This is Manith Tour up here, North Stack and South Stack over the far side. This is where we have the close shepherding scheme run with the RSPB and Isle of Anglesey County Council. The two can work really well together with run back land for the sheep at night on Breakwater Park and also on a quillet on the top that you can just about see up here and then they're grazing during the day all over Manith Tour and benefiting the heathland up there. So this is Agap. It's not just these two sites, it's on a much bigger scale across Anglesey. We have 28 sites covering over 500 hectares of land, plus all the land belonging to the farmers who are part of the marketing group who manage sensitively for wildlife. It's a partnership between the National Trust, the RSPB, the Wildlife Trust, the Sustainable Development Fund, the CCW and of course Pont which manages across Wales on a strategic level and on a farm-to-farm -farm level.